As I sat and watched the new trailer for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, I couldn't help but think to myself, wow, do movies even care about the new generation at all anymore? Do kids growing up with movies even have something that they can call their own? Something that they grew up with that wasn't just a reboot, a recycle, a retread, a repeat, a prequel, a sidequel, a sequel, a suckquel? I don't know if that's necessarily the case. I think they're kind of screwed. Let's talk about it. This idea came to me a couple days ago when I was looking at the slate of movies coming out and there's just nothing that's new or original that's catered to kids and families. It's all the same crap. It's all the same crap that I had from the 80s and 90s just repackaged or just straight up a sequel. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice? What? Like 30 years later we're doing this again? And don't get me wrong, Michael Keaton's fantastic. Tim Burton certainly could use a win. I think the last movie I genuinely liked of his was Big Fish. And that's a freaking great movie. But that was a long time ago. But look at everything on the block. We have Twisters, which is just a carbon copy of Twister, or a prequel, or a sequel, or whatever it's pretending to be. It's the same movie at the end of the day. We have Mufasa, which is a live-action prequel to The Lion King. Live-action. It's animated, of course, but it's that weird quasi-real National Geographic look where none of the characters have any emotion or life to them. Yeah, let's do that again. Because sadly, the Lion King from a, a few years back made $1.6 billion in counting. It's one of the highest grossing movies of all time. That's depressing, but that's just the truth. And it's not the truth because a bunch of kids were excited to see it. I mean, that might be the case, but it's mainly because the adults wanted to relive their childhood. So again, these weren't for the kids necessarily. And Mufasa is going to be the same thing. Bad Boys 4. We're still doing Bad Boys? Axel F. Axel Foley. We have Beverly Hills Cop 4 going straight to Netflix. Is this... Ha where am I right now? What is happening in the world that this is where we're at? We just had another version of Willy Wonka come out not that long ago. We've rebooted that several times over. Just keep churning that thing out until there's nothing left. They're making two more Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Don't. One is a... Spin-off, I think, that's gonna have Johnny Depp in it. The other's got Margot Robbie because she's all the hotness and rage. Even on the animation front, most of it's not original. Sure, there was that Migration Illumination movie from uh, a little while back. That was original, I guess, but... I mean, really, that's gonna be a cultural phenomenon that kids are gonna grow up with, like a Ghostbusters or a Gremlins. Or, you know, Indiana Jones, or Back to the Future, or Jaws, or Jurassic Park. No! It's freaking Migration. A throwaway animated film by Illumination. The Despicable Me movies are still going strong, of course, but Despicable Me's been around for a very long time now. And the Minions. These aren't new properties. Bob Iger's back at Disney, and he's all but given up. For him... We're all about making money. We're all about profit. And the only movies that are profitable in making money are sequels or remakes. So Frozen 3 greenlit, Moana 2 greenlit, Moana live action greenlit, Lilo and Stitch live action coming out, Inside Out 2. Out of all the movies in the world that didn't need a sequel, Inside Out is getting a sequel. I love Inside Out. Brilliant film, but uh, another one? Really? All you can do is ruin it at this point. Where is a modern Goonies? Where is a modern Sandlot? Where is like even a Rookie of the Year or a blank check? These movies don't exist anymore. They don't have anything like this coming out for kids. And if they do, I guess they're just shat out on Disney Plus? Like Magic Camp or something from a couple years back? There was a new Percy Jackson TV series uh, that came out this year. There was a live action version of Avatar, The Last Airbender. Again, we're just redoing everything. How to Train Your Dragon. How to Train Your Dragon. Sorry, let's put a little bit more emphasis on the, on the A the way it should be. How to Train Your Dragon. Getting a live action. Of course it is. Of course, Disney's doing it. We might as well do it too, says DreamWorks. Kung Fu Panda 4. I don't think performed as well as they wanted, so let's go the live action route. 
Let's try that out for size. Now, I'm not saying there is nothing coming out for families. I just can't think of it. That's original or unique or timeless. Something that's going to withstand more than two years of garbage coming out and you can go, you know what, I wanna watch this again. Where is this generation's Home Alone? Or their Wally, -E, or their Wreck-It Ralph, or there, there's so many great movies out there. It just sucks that they're not even gonna take the time to invest in new ones original ideas or thoughts. And instead we have Indiana Jones 18, where Harrison Ford is like 95 years old, still dusting off the whip and the hat. Skit, da, da, da. They can't even do the piano thing anymore that they do in all modern trailers where they just take the original soundtrack and they slow it down. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. 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 Another set of Jurassic World movies coming out. Might as well. Haven't killed that dinosaur yet. Haven't beat that one into the ground. Well, actually they have. That dinosaur has been dead for quite some time. Unless we forget what else these studios like to do, which is hang on to properties by just quickly shitting out a movie based on it. Oh, we got the licensing for She's All That. Let's do He's All That. Father of the Bride. Let's do Mother of the Bride. Don't tell mom the babysitter's dead, we own that one? Yeah, let's make a new one, sure. Race swap, that'll be the thing it's known for. How brave. It could be wrong. It's possible. I don't think I am, but I could be. Maybe, maybe I just am missing out on some of these movies that are hitting the big screen. Or maybe they're going to small screens. Maybe Hulu or Peacock or Disney Plus or, or Apple Plus or someone has a really great movie that families can all enjoy, that kids can grow up with, and they'll get sequels off of it. But I, I really am racking my brain trying to think of one, trying to think of something that is so iconic and timeless. And maybe it's just not possible anymore. Maybe it's not something that we can achieve because of the rise of YouTube and TikTok and Instagram and all these different social media apps and all these different spin-off outlets that have media on it that there's just no room anymore for Hollywood to make movies for families that can hit that level of iconicness, that can hit that brand just right, where they can say, man, we can spin this off, we can do this, we can make like five more of these, and we'll have them come out every year. I, I don't know. And it's a bummer, because if I look at my kids even, they have shows they grew up with and, and movies that were new for them, like the Despicable Me's, like the Gumballs, like the uh, Gravity Falls. But I don't know what the hell kids are watching now. If you're a three or four or five year old, what movie or new show or series is going to hit you like that when you're 15 and you're going to look back and you're going to say, man, I remember going to the theaters and watching Star Wars Ray Returns and thinking, this is my movie. This was made for me and not realizing that there was already like 50 Star Wars things that came out before it. Or, or maybe there is just a brand new thing that they can look back on and say, oh man, I remember when this movie hit and it was so good. It was lightning in a bottle and then they ruined it. They made like four more of them, but that original one, that was the ticket, sir. That was it. For those that might want to say, well, Adam, that's how it is across the board. I'm going to disagree there. While it is true that Hollywood's basically tripling down on what came before, there are unique movies coming out all the time. We, last year we had Poor Things, which I thought was freaking great. I know a lot of people didn't like it. Very much has to be a, a taster's choice situation. The Iron Claw, A24 has a ton of movies that are very unique that come out all the time, for better and for worse. But there are studios still putting out new stuff. The Fall Guy, nobody saw it, but I thought it was great. I had a good time with it. Highly original? No, it doesn't need to be. A lot of movies we grew up with weren't highly original. They just were different enough. And they had their own brand and their own uh, iconic character behind them. And that's what made it withstand the test of time. That's what made us look back and go, oh yeah, John McClane's awesome. Axel Foley was the shit. Ethan Hunt is no nonsense. He's getting it done. Johnny Bravo, that cartoon had style. He had class and he got plenty of ass. I think at this point we can safely say the Memba Berries are starting to get stale. No one seems to care that much anymore about going back and, and reliving the glory days and seeing another sequel for whatever, Beetlejuice 2, I guess. We'll probably do pretty well. I don't know, that'll be a good litmus test, I think, for where people are at now when it comes to going to the movies and if Beetlejuice can have that appeal that, to, to get a broad audience in. It might, it certainly could. 
But overall, I think that it's it's getting a little stale now and people are sick of these retreads and the 15th Star Wars movie and whatever else. Even the MCU seems to be faltering quite a bit. Uh, I don't think that's dead. I think that they're gonna they're gonna keep coming out. They still make money for the most part. They're just gonna retool, shuffle things around. But I think there's some lasting damage here. And I think it's going for broke on all these remakes and sequels and whatnot. People just don't care anymore. We're fed up. We want new things. We have access to so much media all the time that everything has become boring. And now Hollywood needs to once again innovate. Do I think they can? Yeah. Do I like asking myself questions that are easy layups to answer? Of course. And now I would love you to do me the favor of subscribing to the channel. Adam does movies. I post tons of movie reviews, commentary, rants, roasts, and everything else movies every single week. If you like what I'm doing a lot, you can check out my second channel, Adam Does Rants, where, yeah, I do more of this, but on non-movie topics. Usually it's very silly and stupid. I don't, I don't go into like deep conversation about heavy-handed issues. I'm, I'm talking about like not getting a straw when you order a Coke at the drive-thru and you drive away without it. So you're basically shit out of luck, like an idiot opening the top and trying not to spill all over while you drive. It's an impossible task. If you love what I'm doing, and this one's the important one, become a patron at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. There's different tiers that come with different awesome perks. One of which is getting access to vlogs every month that I do. Uh, typically my family's with, we have conversations, we talk about movies. It's a good time. We'd love to have you join. All right, take care and hopefully I see you next time.